Hello and welcome to episode two of The Psychology of Almost Everything. I'm Stuart Grant and... I'm Peter Thompson. Before we go any further, we'd like to say thank you to all those people who got back to us after episode one, saying that they had found the explanations of how to approach a cryptic crossword very helpful, and to the other people who said that uh, they were just stimulated to try something to, to get their brains working to get their brains engaged in something so thanks very much it's always good to get uh, positive feedback as it were um well their last episode was recorded in a swelteringly hot london but today we're in a rather overcast rural cumbria thankfully it's not raining which it usually is here and the mountains still look lovely anyway uh Peter's now going to tell us what we're going to look at today. Uh, thanks, Stuart. And um, yeah, lovely to be here. Lovely to be in Cumbria. And just to remind uh, listeners, last time we looked at the very basics. We looked at hidden words and we found Granada, for example, in a sentence. Uh, we then looked at anagrams and the famous one of the, the PM's corrupt payouts, <laughs> which made us laugh. And then we looked at uh, acrostics, which was taking the first letter of every word in the sentence and using those letters to make up another word. And the example I gave was diet, you may remember. We had some fun talking about diets. So today, by way of a preview, we're going to look at abbreviations and substitutions. These are very common and it's very helpful just to have in your mind some very basic ones. There are hundreds of them. We're just going to do the ones most commonly used. We're going to look at what we call double definitions, uh, which are tricky in a way because there's no indicator but the fact that there's no indicator helps you <laughs> and then finally we're going to look at spoonerisms and so that's that's what we've got planned okay Stuart um I'm going to give you a basic list of some abbreviations that come up really frequently in crosswords so if you want to write them down that's great and then what we're going to do is do a couple of clues which will have some of those abbreviations in them is that okay right uh, yeah, just give, give, give a moment for our listeners to get a pen and paper. Good thinking. I suspect yeah. they've already got them. Yeah. OK. Um, well, they can pause as well. <laughs> they can pause the tape. All right. So let, let's go. Um, a common one is O for old. Uh -huh. And then contrast, you get N for new. English is often uh, E. So in other words, if there's English in the clue, you substitute and put in the letter E. Uh, as part of the answer. D for daughter. And then you sometimes get S for son. L is often learner, so when you see learner in the clue, substitute and put an L. Uh -huh. uh, or it can be a lake. P, parking signs all over the place. P's for parking. H for hospital. Uh, whenever there's a press man or a journalist or an editor, it's ED. And you often get that at the end of the word, like, you know, he edited yeah, something. Yeah. Whenever you see artist, it's usually RA, which is, stands for the Royal Academy or Royal Academician. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. not Academician. Academician. <laughs> and if you're into football, if you see football, it could be FA for Football Association. Okay. Okay. So, th 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 I mean, there are literally you know, hundreds and hundreds of uh, abbreviations. We, but those are just some basic ones. Uh, I'm going to give you a couple of clues now that will, I think about five clues, and we'll see how they, they sort of come up in a clue itself. So clue number one for three letters, poem, daughter's scene in Old English. So have a stab at that. So that's poem, daughter's scene in Old English. No. I go, going back to what you taught me in the last episode, I'm looking for a definition. So I suspect the definition is going to be poem. Now looking at my list that I've just written down, I've got... O for old, E for English, D ah oh, yes, D for daughter. So substituting those uh, abbreviations, it's uh, owed. Correct. Well done. Great. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. Good. Let's try another one. High mountain with a lake and parking. Okay. Now, yeah, because you've told me parking is a P, I know that's not going to be the definition. So the definition is high mountain. Uh, three letters again. Three Sorry, letters. I should have said three that. letters. Okay. Um, so it's A. Oh, okay. Yeah. L for lake, P for parking, and the letter A at the beginning. A lake. Yeah. Uh, Alp. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Notice it's slightly confusing because you know there's no substitution or abbreviation for A. So A is brought into the clue, yeah. into the into the answer yeah, as yeah. well as part of the clue. Okay. Okay. What about this one? Um, again, for three letters, newsman set about new objective. Well, newsman, you've just said, looking at my list, is is Ed. So that's not going to be the definition. But going back to what you said in the first episode, the definition will be at the beginning or end. So the end is so it's going to be a word meaning objective. 
Newsman is Ed. Set about new. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, got it. So it's uh, Ed set wrapped around N for new end. Well done. Yeah. And, and I want to pause at this point because wrapping things around each other is a common trick that these setters use. And here you've got a very good example where the clue reads newsman set about new objective. And if you read it in mind with, you know, in other words, you're being told what to do rather than to think about the meaning, you're being told to set new right. I have it have Ed set about the the N and you get end. All right, two more very quickly. Okay. English artists epoch. Uh three or epoch. How do you say epoch or epoch? Epoch, I epoch. say. You say epoch. You, okay. Three letters. So English artists epoch. Uh okay, well English we know is E. Artist is R A from the Royal Academy. E R A era. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Last one. Football Association gets new supporter. Oh, so Football Association FA gets new, gets N, F-A-N, fan, supporter, fan. Yeah. You've got it. So um, these can get much more complicated. We've given you the very basics, but it's just to get you going, because we're really talking to people we hope who've never done crosswords before and we're trying to get you interested. If, you, if you're familiar with crosswords, this will be old hat to you, but this is really for to get you started. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Peter, it would be unseemly of you to... Uh, Plug your own book, but of course I can do it. <laughs> so uh, I should just tell the listeners that everything we're discussing, all the clues, all the ideas are contained in Peter's book about cryptic crosswords called The Tricks They Play. And that will be arriving at the publishers soon. And I, I hope you take a look at it. It's uh, well worth the study. Anyway, we're moving on to, I think, uh, double definitions. Over to you, Peter. OK, Stuart, let's just start with a clue and see how you go this is for three letters it comes from every man number three four eight six and this clue is sky broadcast three letters so all the all the all That's the clue what it is, is. is sky broadcast. i know it's, it's it, tricky you've told me this is a double definition so really i'm looking for a word that would uh, define both of those terms. Correct. Oh, God. Correct. Okay. okay. Yeah, this is where uh, cryptic crosswords always beat me, this kind of thing. Um, uh, so it's a, a word that means sky and a word that means broadcast. No, no, come on. You, you're air. Like if you air, air something, nah. you broadcast. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's so easy when you... It's you, easy when you know, and they are difficult, okay. and they're really tricky because you get no indicator, and they can be quite long. So we're going to do a few more practice ones and then... We'll see how you go. Okay. Servant's sheet. Also, every man, 3928, but this time it's four letters. Servant's sheet. 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 Okay. There we go. Think, think paper. Yeah. Okay, think paper. Paper. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, sheet, page. That's right. Servant, page, page. boy. There you so are. the answer's yeah. page. Let's try a few more. Manage to flee. That's from the Times 2011. Manage to flee. Manage to flee. Manage to flee. Three letters. Got it. Got it. Run. That's right. You used to manage a department, didn't yeah, you? In I your did. day. Yeah. 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 Um, public not allowed. Three. That's from the Times. Two zero four one. Public. public not allowed. Oh. And it's just three letters. Yeah. So not allowed is um, forbidden. Uh, no, um, no, you have to give me this one. Out. Out. Yeah, if oh, it's not allowed, if it's like in, it. it's allowed. If it's out, out. it's not allowed. Not allowed. It's public, difficult. If you've come out. Yeah, public, public yeah. you've come okay. out. It's right. difficult. Um, okay. Obviously helped if you'd been given a grid and you already had a few letters. It would have made that a lot easier. Yeah, of course. of course. Zero meat. Four letters. Again, that's from the Times 2042. Four. Zero meat. Zero is, is nothing. Oh, yeah, I've got it, got it. You're out for zero, you're out for a duck. Got duck it. is meat, yeah. you got it. Okay. Just a few more, because you've got the gist now, so yes, yeah, we're well. just practising. Filming location is ready to go. Three letters from the Times 2037. Filming location is ready to go. Oh, got it, yeah. You film on a set. Yeah. Ready, ready on your set. marks. Get, Get set, set, go. Go, yeah. Okay. okay. Well to do. That's laughable. That's from the Times, 2049, and it's four letters. Well to do. 
That's laughable, and it's question mark after well-to-do. Well-to-do is you're well, you're well off. You've got money. You're oh, tough. No, no, no. no. Um, it's a bit rich. That's a bit rich. <laughs> that's, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Peter. <laughs> well-to-do, you're rich. Yeah, oh, that's laughable. Yeah, that's, that's rich. rich. Yeah. Uh, not a sort of word that no, our it, generation uses. Is a bit old. Uh, seems to yeah, me. It's a bit of a colloquialism, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really? a bit of a colloquialism. Never mind. Okay. okay. Uh, conditions laid down for school kids' work periods. Okay. For uh, school kids' work periods. That's five cool. letters. Classes. The Times. Right. 2049. Conditions laid down for school kids' work periods. So, well, it can't, it's not classes, obviously. but um, So, school kids' work periods. Uh, days. Um, oh, yeah. Terms. Terms. Terms, got it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah got yeah. it, yeah. Another one from the Times, 2029. Happy cosmetics have been applied. Cosmetics. Happy cosmetics have been applied. Cosmetics. Four and then two, so four letters. Oh, this is, no, I've got this. Yeah. I've got this. So it's four and two. Yeah. Yeah. Cosmetics have been applied, made, made up. up. And if you're happy, you're made up. So it's made up. Yes, made, made up, yep, 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 yep. Oh, and wow. finally, I know. <laughs> finally, okay, because I really love this. This is one of my favourite clues from, from in this section. Uh, it's from the Times two zero two three. It's eight letters, and the clue is charm one's way in question mark charm one's way in question mark. And this comes in? up. This clue comes up in different forms in in various crosswords. Right. One's way in a door, an opening. Uh, a portal, um, one's way in. What's the way in? What's the way out of a, of a building? Well, an exit. What's the way in? An entrance. One's way in. Ah, oh, no. Oh, yeah, OK. It's a play on words. Yeah. Charm. You're in trance. Yes. And one's way in entrance. Yes. OK. What the listeners can't see is the wonderful expression Stuart gets when the penny drops. It's just great fun. It's that aha experience. OK. So those are the double definitions. Right. We're now going to move on to uh, Spoonerisms. Stuart, uh, tell us what you know about Spooner. Um, I, I, not a lot, actually. I know it was the Reverend Spooner, and I know he became famous for mixing up the syllables of words. Now, I'm not going to profess much more knowledge than that, but I will confess that I did look up a few Spoonerisms, knowing that uh, you were going to ask me about them. I came up with, with these little classics. Chewing the doors was, in fact, he meant to say doing the chores. <laughs> <laughs> sad ballad he meant to say a bad salad and this one i like son is now kiss the marie to cuss the bride <laughs> <laughs> yes he was uh, around uh, from he was born in 1844 he was an oxford don and he died in 1930 and a sentence is attributed to him which may or may not be true but this is how it goes talking to a student he says you've hissed all my mystery lectures, and were caught fighting a liar in the quad. Having tasted two worms, you'll leave by the next town drain. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm sure he didn't say that, but anyway, it was great fun. The reason I've included this uh, in the podcast is that the Everyman Crosser that we're going to do in another episode, uh, one of his signature clues is the acrostics. We talked about the first letter of every term, but the other signature clue he puts in Mm, quite often are spoonerisms right. and they can be quite tricky and we're going to do a yeah, few exactly. and Stuart really ease up because nobody expects you to get this just like that <laughs> um, we have to think about it um, we might have to think aloud yeah. uh, and it is a lot easier when you've got them written down so let's see how we go and uh, by the way in terms of the indicator the word spooner is always in there so, oh, so the spooner is the indicator spooner will be right. the indicator so you know immediately you're in the world of spoonerisms right and these are all from every man and i'll just give the number at the end of the clue so this is for three letters then four letters and the clue goes spooners expressed imperial desire to be like saudi arabia Three letters, four letters, and that's from every man, three, nine, three, four. I'll repeat it. Spooner's expressed imperial desire to be like Saudi Arabia. So why don't we think aloud? Actually, well, what, what comes to mind with Saudi Arabia? Uh, well, I suppose Saudi Arabia, 
three, four, oil maybe. Right. Okay. Right. So is that would be the starting point for any spoonerism? You would f try and find the definition yes. and, th and then yes. start? Right, okay. exactly. So is oil right at all? It, it, I, oil is absolutely right. Right. Yeah. So in one another spoonerism, oil, um, uh, imperial, imperial desire. Imperial is what? What's it? Imp imperial, uh, regal. Um, yes, yes. Uh, You're on the right royal, track. Well done. Royal. Well done. Royal. So got you got it. Oil and royal. And what's a desire? If you yearn to do something, if you're really, you know, quite keen to get into something. So you've, you, you, you um, well, you yearn for it. Longing. You, longing. You um. I am itching. Oh, itching, itching. Yeah. Itch. Okay. So, so what have you got now? Oil, royal. An itch. Well, the imperial desire would be royal and itch. Royal itch. So a spoonerism would be, oh yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> Oil rich. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Notice everybody. Like Arabia, this yeah. does not come immediately, no. and you have to work at it, and you have to think aloud. And by the way, the other thing we meant to say is that crosswords are great fun to do with other people. Oh yes. Absolutely. During your tea break or yeah. something, if you're at work. Okay. Um, this. <laughs> are you in a hell of a long tea break? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Um, are you exhausted? Can you cope with a couple more? <laughs> All right. These are difficult. These are difficult. Yeah. These are difficult. You would need some letters, wouldn't you? You do need letters. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And uh, here's another example. Spooners to accumulate bulk, colon, it's a reckoning point, And that's eight letters. And that's number 3946 from every man. I'll repeat. Spooners to accumulate bulk. It's a reckoning point. So we know reckoning point is the definition. Reckoning point is the definition. That's at the end. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we've been told yeah. it's the spoonerism. Yeah. So now, I, I know you're a sailor, and I know you'd be thinking of reckoning those terms, but I'll give yeah. you a hint. It's nothing to do with sailing. Okay. Um, so it's, it's um, a reckoning point. Um, so oh, well, that, what does accumulate bulk mean? Yeah. That is to... Um, well, well it's to, to acquire, isn't it? To yeah. build, to um, to. Uh, if somebody accumulates lots of money. You might say he he does what? Or he well, or they, she? Oh, they're yeah, yeah. they're. they're oh, yes, they they've got they've got a pile. Uh huh. <laughs> That's right. Okay, and what's bulk? The bulk. Um, the bulk to accumulate bulk to accumulate. So they're piling them to bulk. Um, a lot that well no that's just mm -hmm. a pile again isn't it mm -hmm. no i'm sorry this has got me stumpy yeah sorry. well I, I, I didn't get this clue either okay oh, right, right. so i only know the answer because i, <laughs> I saw, <laughs> saw the result uh, that the the bulk is is most so you get pile most to accumulate bulk oh i'm reckoning point pile most mile post. there you go yeah. you see once <laughs> once you've got the, the wrong words as you like it's uh -huh. quite easy then to switch the consonants at the beginning, which also reminds me, as a slight aside, but you know, ever since I've learned about spooners, every time I go past an Elizabethan pub <laughs> that's called the Boar's Head, I wonder what goes, what's going on upstairs. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. Um, we'll, leave, we'll leave the listeners to what that one up. Okay. Yeah. This, this, I think, is, is easier than the clue you've just done. This is for three letters, then seven letters. The clue reads as follows Interpreters. Tear apart rulers, comma, according to Spooner. Okay, so the definition's at the beginning here, because we've yes, got Spooner interpreters. at the end. Do you want to know another word interpreters. for interpreters? Okay. And that's every man 3931. Tear apart rulers. So tear, if you tear something, you you um, rip it. Yes, okay. Yeah. St yeah. Stick with that. You're okay, on you're right, onto something. Right. And rulers are kings there, queens there, emperors there, they're... Um, Leaders. Yes. Leaders? Yeah, right. well done. Right. You're, okay. you're almost there. So, I'm, so tear apart rulers would be to rip leaders, uh, interpreters, yeah, switch it round, lip readers. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. You see, I think that was easier Ooh. than the... Yeah, the, that was the, much the, easier. The, much easier than the, than the other clue. Yeah. Okay, two more and then we'll move on. Okay. This is from Everyman3939. Three, nine, three, nine. He tosses and turns, colon, spooners hearing a little flea, question mark, and that's five and seven. And, and I just say to the listeners, it's good news if you do get this out, because of course that's 12 letters in your grid. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll reread it. Okay. He tosses and turns, and as you know, that's a definition. So you're looking yeah. for something about tossing. Well, how do we know little flea isn't a definition? Oh, no, you don't. Uh, but you, it says Spooner's hearing. Oh, a okay. Flea. Yes, okay. Yes, yeah. yes. So okay. Spooner's hearing a little flea, question mark. Okay, so um, he tosses and turns, so it's got to, to, to be something presumably to do with, with sleep. Yes. Okay. Yes. Hearing a little flea, a little flea, a f a f oh God, insect, a fly, um, yeah, uh, no, um, yeah, a little flea, a little, so, what do fleas do? Uh, they, well, they fly, they yes. leap, they, they leap, stick with leap, leap, yeah, stick with leap, so you've got, because I'm going to give you a lift, lift up with this because it's very difficult. And again, I didn't get this clue, by the way. Okay. I had to find <laughs> the answer. So it, you're looking for something to do, as you said, with sleep. Sleeping. Sleeping. Right. And it's he, so we're talking at sleeper, right? But tosses and oh, turns. Oh, okay. So, okay. Sorry. So it's sleeper yeah. and, and leap. Leaper. Yes. So, so the S will be for sleeper. And a little. So we're looking for a word that means little. Correct. A, a little flea. Yes. Or a something sleeper. Yes. Oh, yeah, got it, got it, got it. Well done. Uh, yeah, well it's done. light well done. sleeper. Well done. Well slight done. leaper. A slight well, leaper for the flea. Small flea. A small, small flea, flea leaping. And a light yeah. sleeper for the, uh, the chap who's tossing yeah. and turning. Yeah. Right. Very difficult, but, you know, the great fun. I mean, in terms of the imagination, they're, they're great fun. Last one. Okay. And I like this clue. I think it's good. And, and it's number 3943 three from every man. They are, or abbreviated, they're incendiary crusaders for truth, comma, says Spooner. So we know... 12 letters. They are, or they're incendiary crusaders for truth, says Spooner. So the definition is incendiary. They're incendiary, right? Yes. Is that right? Yes, yeah, that is okay. right. Yeah. Crusaders for truth. What are they? They're, um, oh, I don't know, are they lawyers, barristers, uh, uh, something to do with... Yeah. with uh, the church, church, you might think, yeah. yes, crusaders. Yeah. Crusaders, yeah. yeah. Um, but, if, yeah. If you're crusading for something, you're, you're, you're fighting. fighting for you're it. Fighting. You're fighting. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, and for, so you're a, a fighter for the truth. You're fighting for the truth, the truth, the um, truth lies like, oh, ha, 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 here we go, I think. So if you're a crusader for the truth, you're actually fighting lie, lies, and you're fighting liars. Well done. Yeah. Well so done. You get, so you get fight liars, or liar, liar fighters, uh, uh, incendiary fire lighters yes i do yeah. apologize to people out there they're probably way ahead of, of me no uh, well that i <coughs> i think you did very very well indeed for me it's one of those clues where i got it the clue out because i stuck with lighters right and then i worked it out backwards in other words then i worked out that it was fire lighters yes. right but uh yes very difficult. Well, they are difficult. They, they are difficult, them. but I thought it would be fun to include them because sure, we, sure. we're going to be doing every man, and 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 I'm I am promoting every man because, as they say, it's quite a good entry level crossword if you want to get into cryptic crosswords. Right. Uh, well, that's the end of this episode, and it's uh, I find it's really been quite something. If we're going along with the idea that doing cryptic crosswords and and similar uh, puzzles are like a mental PT, as it were, mental physical training. Well, I can testify to that because I really do feel quite tired, Peter. That was Some of that was really quite difficult. Anyway, I'm going to hand you over to Peter, who's going to tell us what's coming in the next episode. Thanks, Stuart. Yes, so next time we're going to be looking at homophones, inserting letters, and what I call smart alec clues there fun clues but they're quite difficult because you either see them or you don't but stick around and we'll take you through it and you need to break Stuart to get nice and fit for the next episode <laughs> they are tiring just to, to reiterate what Stuart was saying uh, things like spoonerisms can be mentally exhausting but that's all part of the fun and uh, really important to say this but as I said earlier if you've got letters to help you along the way it is a lot easier when Stuart was doing those he didn't have any letters in the grid as it were so it was, it was very, very difficult. Anyway, thanks for sticking with us. 
and it's really goodbye from me. And goodbye from me. <laughs>